Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. The last time we met the tribe, they just finished building all their houses, still preparing for the winter, getting stuff ready for hunting and fishing. We had a new baby on the way with the building family and hopefully the baby carries on the genes and the traits of their parents. So Argi, Yunai, Tomika, Inara, they were still going to be busy in this time to get all the stuff finished for the hunting and so forth. So Yunai know, knew that they were supposed to start building baskets and so forth. So they got themselves ready to start building. They first stopped helping the guys getting the fine stone. And then Yunai told him now it's time to start building the important stuff after the houses. The first thing that they would need is baskets. So he set out the place where they will put about five baskets. And while they were deciding on the baskets, they also had a chat with the gathering guys and told them they should please go and collect more plant fiber because their plant fiber levels were very low at that stage. They only had 29. Early morning and Domika was already busy. His father was taking a little chat with one of the raw guys asking them to collect the plant fiber like we mentioned because they were going to need it for the building. So they had a lack of chat discussing the day's work and what they needed. Inara were also busy quickly starting to clear the way for the baskets to be built. And our pregnant lady was enjoying a little bit of food, Argi. The first basket were almost done. First basket were done. The tribe were now well on their way to set themselves up for fishing and hunting. But to do that they also needed some tools. So the craft people had to start making some spears. Because they would need spears to make their fishing equipment, their harpoons, bone later on and first normal ones. The tribe were doing excellent work on the baskets. They were just slowly running short on plant fiber. Yunai took quick stock while he were there, checking what was left and what they still needed. He also decided that it was going to be time to build some pits. So they also started putting pits down. Always 
Also about five of them. They still had a lot of work to do. Everybody slowly doing their part. All four of the family busy with their jobs for the day. Carrying back the straw, which they will later use again to fix their homes. Things were really looking good for the tribe, and there was still a lot of time left before winter. Slowly but surely, the four of them were digging the pits. But the tribe was still waiting for plant fibers. Hopefully the gathering guys could quickly bring it so they could finish their baskets. But while they wait, they started digging the pits. Which were just as important as the baskets. Because both were there for food storage. And the tribe knew it. If they can get it finished quickly, their food will last a little bit longer. Rain started pouring down. Not making their work easier digging in the wet dirt and having to take the water out every time they dug a little bit deeper. But the tribe would never give up. The chief was sitting and thinking what to do next and still pondering about who will replace him when he gets too old to do it. Two guys that he was still thinking about was Andon and Yunai. Both of them were excellent, but which one would be able to beat the drug? Slowly but surely he had to make a decision. And it was not going to be an easy one. It was weighing down heavily on the chief. He took a quick glance to see how they are faring and happy he walked to the fire. And now he had to take quick stock about what is going on and how much they have left. Happy that at least plant fiber was slowly starting to come in and he knew the builders would be able to continue. He went and collected some more food. Everything was slowly but surely taking shape. The Beaufoy tribe should be able to make it if no big disaster struck. But things were slowly looking up. The 
shepherds were getting ready slowly but surely, getting deeper and deeper. The pits would keep their food cool and safe from animals and the elements, which will make it last just a little bit longer. The same with the baskets, it would keep the food safe and protect it from the elements and animals. Here you could see the people busy making spears that would be very important for hunting and fishing a little bit later on. Everybody in the tribe were doing their part. There were nobody in the village that did not do anything. Food was still looking good, but they needed to get it in protection. Some of the pits were almost ready to take some food, but it will maybe take another day. But Yunei did not give up. He continued building and digging. Night slowly crept up on the tribe. But yet they continued wanting to get as far as possible before nightfall. Day was done. But like we know the building family, they wanted to continue. But in the end they knew it was now time to rest. Tomorrow would be another day. Everybody had a chance to rest. Junei wanted to continue. He pushed a little bit harder, brought one more load. Always setting an example for the tribe. Long day over, everybody was starting to get breakfast. Chief also slowly returning back from a hard day's work. And so the next day arrived, one day closer to winter. What will today hold? Will they finish most of their work and start with the next phase? Or what will happen? The tribe has been doing exceptionally well so far. Let's hope it continues. The first winter is always the hardest. Slowly but surely the people were getting up and getting ready for their day. Some starting to work right away before getting breakfast, others already enjoying a breakfast. Enjoying themselves on the rocks, 
chatting and discussing. They had a quick chat and decided to let one of the raw guys go and help the crafting guys so that they can get tools quicker. So one one of them moved to help craft just so that they can get quicker and yeah get the tools quicker. They slowly decided to start crafting some tridents. Some wooden tridents. Currently they did not have any bone and also maybe some spears. They needed at least two spears to get hunting going. The pits were looking very very good. One of them were very close to being complete. Anara were first there and she was busy building and digging. Close by was Domika. But Domika decided to work on the baskets to get that out of the way. The same with Agri, wanting to finish the baskets first. There was finally enough plant fiber to do so, but you could see that pregnancy was taking a toll slowly on her energy levels but she never gave up all the baskets were complete so now they had to say what goes in so the first one they said raw fish the other two would be dry fish and then the last two would be meat raw meat and dry meat so baskets were ready now they just needed to finish the pits before they start the next phase things were looking really really good they also still needed to produce some more fine sticks through the crafting team or else they would run out the pits were looking really really good the first bone harpoons not bone harpoons Wooden harpoons were ready. Slowly but surely, they were getting ready. If they had to now, they could catch some fish at least. wooden trident were done. The family would slowly continue to finish the pits. Soon the baby will also be born. Will it be a boy? Will it be a girl? Only time will tell.
very very close to completing the pits. Hopefully they can get it finished before the day is done. Everybody slowly but surely doing their part. The tools were coming along nicely. Another wooden trident. Things were looking very, very good. The raw guys decided that they have had gathered enough plant fiber and it was time to get more reeds. Craftsmen had to concentrate on getting more spears. Crafting were going very, very well. You could see the hunting spear being created. One of the pits we completed. One after the other, in the pits they decided to put their rose heaps. Some of their food at least this day would be safe. Two of the pits were done. Three pets were done. Two more to go. Now the food people could bring the food directly to the pets. The last pet they decided would be for mushrooms, if they find any. In the autumn months, one pet remained. They slowly started bringing the food to the pets. Here you could see Argy carrying some of the fruit and bringing it to the pits to be, make it safe, keep it safe. Here you can see her putting the fruits inside. Another one bringing fruit to put inside of the pits. <coughs> 
Getting it out of the elements and out of the sun. And Nara still working on the last and final pit. One hunting spear were done. Two of the wooden tridents were done. They needed two more wooden tridents and one more spear to have enough tools to start hunting and fishing. were doing excellent. There was hope for the tribe yet. The second spear were almost complete. Then hunting would be ready. Reeds were also slowly coming in. good and at least it would be safe. They just needed to carry it all into the pits. Chief came walking up, first thinking the food were very little and then seeing the pits and the baskets and he was very happy. He took his fruit straight to one of the pits. Chief were very very happy with what they were doing. This would definitely score points for Yunei to be the next chief of the village. Still a very difficult decision for the chief, but he was impressed. He had to look at it again. And he went to get something to eat. Chief had a quick word. And told him to push and to start the next day. With the dryers. They really needed to start building the dryers for the next on the next day. <laughs> and the chief told him to build a, hut, a storage hut. He wanted the fish to be moved into a storage hut. Everybody slowly went to bed. The next day. They needed to finish the pit so that they could start with the dryers. Everybody were happy that their food 
would now be safe. Here you could see everybody coming to their pits to get some food. Everybody is slowly getting ready, having quick chats while they were eating. Chief quickly went for a stock take. Everything was looking fine. He also decided to gra grab breakfast while he was there. Continuing with his stock take and then going into the field to do some private business. Today would be another big day for the tribe. The hunting spears were done, so the crafters could concentrate on something else. Chief quickly came to get breakfast again. The last bit were finished. They also dedicated that bit to Rosie. Now the big work would begin. They would have to build dryers. The first anti stack. The first thing they wanted to do was build their ice stack so that they can get hay as soon as possible and stack it to dry up. Then after the hay stack, they needed the dryers for the food, three of them to be precise. Two of them for fish and one of them for meat. The tribe will have, to have another busy day, specifically the building family. And after all that, they still had to build the storage hut. So it will be another very very busy day for the builder family but at least the food and shelter were sorted now it was just all preparations crafting people knew they had to create some more rope as well
starting to clear the way for the dryer. Some rocks had to be moved. Everybody still doing their part as they should to get the tribe through the first and most difficult winter most likely of their lives. Luckily they had a lot of time still left. The chief really ran the tribe well. Slowly but surely everything were coming together. Here you could see makeshift carriers that the tribe made to carry big stuff like rocks and sticks and so forth. Some people were slowly getting angry and really needed a break very very soon. But today was not that day. The first dryer were almost complete. bringing rope to finish the dryer. The first dryer were, com were almost complete. The first one would be for fish, to dry the fish. Now they have a supply chain of fish. When they catch it, they can dry it and put it in a basket. Fish were now set. Now it's just the meat that they needed to sort out.
two more dryers and a haystack. Then their supply chain for food would be complete. The crafting guys still needed to make two more wooden tridents. Then the fishing guys were sorted. Building family have done an excellent job of getting everything ready for the tribe. Another dryer. They decided to put that one on meat, so their supply chain on meat were also ready now. If they had to hunt or fish immediately, they could do it now. But they would wait for winter or autumn to start with fishing and hunting. Currently the fruits were still sufficient. The haystack were also coming along very nicely. The tribe was slowly but surely getting ready for winter. Food was sorted, warmth was sorted, and they had shelter. Things were looking amazing for the tribe. Their future at this stage looked bright. <laughs> The moods in the camp were very good at this stage. Some people were celebrating. Another day of everybody going to do their part. The tribe realized that they would also need an axe to cut down trees to build the storage hut. The village were taking nice shape. From nothing to a thriving village, good leadership and good decision making took them to where they were today.
Stalks were still looking good. The haystack were completed. They will slowly start bringing the hay to the haystack. Here you can see, bringing the first hay to the haystack. tribe also knew that they needed to build more dryers or not dryers they needed to build pelt tanners at least two of them for when they hunt that they could use the skins as well and not let anything of the animals go to waste. Everything was looking very, very good for the tribe. They completed some of the pelt tanners, ready to be used to produce skins and pelt for them. One axe were ready. They could now soon start chopping trees. Everybody enjoying a little bit of dinner. Another morning, autumn was slowly approaching 
where they would soon have to start fishing and hunting, with the fruits getting less and less every day. happiness of the tribe were excellent at this stage. Only one person were not that happy. But with a little break he should be fine again and soon the tribe would have would be able to take a small break. chief were very happy with where the tribe were at this stage. Soon the final dryer would also be complete. The baby would soon also be born. The raw guys had to change to get some sticks. The tribe were running low. Soon the tribe would have enough wooden tridents to start it to be ready for fishing. The chief were very happy with how things looked. Last dryer were completed would also be for fishing. So the tribe were ready for the next step. That was to build a storage hut and then get ready to start hunting and fishing. Let's see in the next episode how they fare. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next one.